today we will be starting after now we have been talking of the viscous damping now we will be talking of the dry damping means the frictional force will be responsible for the system to bring back the system to the equilibrium or to the stable position or to the mean position let us see how the free vibration uh, with the coulomb damping or the frictional damping coulomb damping is also uh, same as that of the frictional damping so what does the coulomb coulomb's law says coulomb's law says that the frictional force coulomb's law says that the frictional force of the dry friction damping is directly proportional to the normal reaction so what is the normal reaction a object is lying on a surface like this and whose weight is mg it is like say working downward in that case that the normal reaction will be acting the vertically upward the force of friction will be acting in this direction means the opposite direction than that of the direction of motion this is the direction of the motion and this is also the direction of the external force when you apply the external force in this in the right direction obviously the friction force will be in the opposite direction the coulomb's law says that uh, the dry friction damping or the frictional force will be directly proportional to the normal reaction in the system so normal reaction the direct uh, proportionality symbol can be replaced by mu where mu is the coefficient of friction and it depends upon the type of uh, uh, surface you are taking so this is the friction force moreover the rm will be equal to mg if the system is stable we know of this one now second point we now we want to analyze this a coulomb uh, coulomb's law or the dry friction damping mathematically so we will be solving a derivation before solving that derivation we have some assumption let us have a mass spring mass system earlier in earlier cases the spring mass system was suspended like that it was not lying on the surface now because uh, in that case we were taking the viscous damping we were applying the dampers now here also the damper is there but that is the dry friction damping the system is lying on a surface and this is a mg mass m this uh, mass m is lying on a surface over here like this and the mean position is this one if i uh, if i displace this mass in a right direction that it will be displaced through a displacement of x and during that displacement its velocity will be x dot and during that displacement its acceleration will be x double dot now if that acceleration or velocity or uh, displacement is on the right side of the mean position then they will be assumed as positive and if they are on the left side of that then they will be taken as negative this is our assumption before solving that derivation now we we'll look at the derivation and we have we have another slide slide number 3 what we have done we have a spring mass system over here here which is lying on a surface like that we will analyze the motion of this spring mass system which is lying on a surface into four quadrants let us see how these motion this motion has been uh, categorized or divided or bifurcated into four quadrants and in the four quadrants we will solve the mathematical equation as well let us see the first point first point is the equilibrium position of the system this is a spring whose stiffness is k and this is a mass who is lying at the mean position so this line this line from starting to end this line shows you a uh mean position or the equilibrium position right now the position number 1 the spring mass system is at an equilibrium and the mass is lying on the mean position and we are also showing our notations that on the right side of the mean position the displacement x x uh, velocity x dot and the acceleration x double dot they are assumed to be positive similarly if we are on the move on the left side of the mean position x x dot and x double dot they will be considered as negative, negative. so this is our assumption so let us start from the quadrant number 1 if i pull this uh, mass from my hand like this and up to here up from here to here in the first quadrant on the right side of the mean position the object will attain the motion on the right side of the mean position 
and obviously it will have a positive displacement positive velocity and positive acceleration so this is your first quadrant and this is the fpd for the first quadrant let us see what kind of forces are being applied or get generated into this block of having mass m which is lying on the surface when it is pulled on the right side if i am pulling it on the right side due to lee lambert principle mx double dot this is the inertial force which will be acting in the opposite direction to the motion yes, yes second point this is the frictional force if i move in this side frictional force will be in the opposite direction to the motion my direction of motion is on the right side so fr will be on the opposite side similarly this is the spring which is also opposing the motion since i am moving this mass m on the right side so kx will be uh, in the opposite direction to the motion so the kx will be opposing the motion or the kx will also be responsible or a spring force which is also be responsible for bringing back the system to the mean position to the equilibrium position so this is the uh, point number 1 or quadrant number 1 now i move to the point number 3 this is the second quadrant i am uh, what i have done i have just pulled this mass up to displacement tax in the quadrant number 1 after that i have removed my hand I didn't touch the mass at all up to the fourth quadrant after that. Now what happens after after reaching this position? What this mass will have a tendency? This mass will have a tendency in the second quadrant to go back at its own due to this spring force and the inertial forces. You have uh, you have not uh, touched the mass after that. In the second quadrant, the direction of motion will be like that. the direction of motion i have shown it will go it try to go back to the original position of the mean position during its return motion from the first quadrant to the second quadrant the motion is still in the right side so this is positive the velocity will be negative because it is bringing the system back to the original position and acceleration is also positive because acceleration will be taken negative only if it is moving on the right side so that is why acceleration has is still positive on the right side now uh, from this diagram this is the fpd where mx double dot is still in function it is the inertial force due to the de lambert principle fr because it is moving in this direction so obviously the frictional force will be in the opposite, opposite direction the frictional force kx is still functioning until or unless your mass has reached to the मेन पोजीशन जब तक मेन पोजीशन तक नहीं पहुंच जाएगा आपका मास तब तक डी लैम्बर्ट प्रिंसिपल की जो फोर्स है यानी इनर्शियल फोर्स और आपका स्प्रिंग फोर्स यानी के एक्स ये दोनों काम करते रहेंगे सो दिस इज द फिगर ऑफ द एक्टिविटी फॉर द सेकंड क्वाड्रेंट नाउ आई मस्ट मूव टू द थर्ड क्वाड्रेंट आफ्टर रीचिंग टू द सेकंड क्वाड्रेंट द फोर ऑब्जेक्ट विल क्रॉस द मेन लाइन एंड इट विल क्रॉस द मेन लाइन अप टू द second uh, second extreme position this is the first extreme position in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant also this is the second extreme position like a pendulum we are having aapne pendulum pakda yahan se chhod diya this is the first extreme position jab aap usko chhodenge to dusri extreme position kahan pe aayegi is taraf aayegi similarly aapke paas ek aapke paas spring mass system hai aapne mass ko aise pakda chhod diya to बिल्कुल नीचे जाएगा वो फर्स्ट एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन है बिल्कुल ऊपर आएगा उसकी वो सेकंड एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन है सिमिलरली ये इसकी फर्स्ट एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन होगी और उधर बिल्कुल जाकर के जब उसको स्प्रिंग को देखो आप उसकी हालत पहले ये इस तरह से एक्सपेंडेड था अब बिल्कुल आपका ऐसे स्ट्रेच हो गया ये दैट इज वाई आई ड्रॉन इट लाइक दैट स्ट्रेच हो गया दिस इज सेकेंड एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन जब ये डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन आपके सामने दिखाया डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन में ये तीनों आपके जो है नेगेटिव हो गए क्योंकि ये लेफ्ट साइड पे है मेन पोजीशन। नाउ आई कम टू द ये एफबीडी फॉर द थर्ड क्वार्टर एफबीडी में क्या है अगर मोशन आपका इस तरह से है मेन पोजीशन में डी लैम्बर्ट किस तरफ काम करेगा डी लैम्बर्ट उसको मेन पोजीशन पे लाने की कोशिश करेगा सो दिस इज द डी लैम्बर्ट एम इन टू माइनस एक्स क्योंकि माइनस आपके पास ऑलरेडी है तो माइनस वे गुड माइनस एक्स दिस इज डी लैम्बर्ट फोर उस तरफ है तो आपका राइट साइड पे आपका मोशन है तो अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में आपका फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स होगा 
स्प्रिंग को आपको स्ट्रेच किया स्प्रिंग आपने आपको नॉर्मल करने की कोशिश करेगा तो स्प्रिंग इस तरह से धक्का देगा यानी इस तरह तो ये स्प्रिंग हो गया सो दिस इज योर थर्ड पॉइंट नाउ द फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट जब सेकंड एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन में पहुंच गया तो आपका ये मोशन लाइन पे वापस शुरू हो जाएगा सेकंड एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन में पहुंच गया वो इससे ज्यादा स्प्रिंग को नहीं दबा सकता ये जितना दबाना था दबा लिया उसके बाद ये वापस आएगा मेन पोजीशन वापस मेन पोजीशन आने के लिए ये मोशन दिखाया जब वापस में आएगा वापसी के केस में माइनस एक्स अभी के डिस्प्लेसमेंट मेन पोजीशन के ऊपर है क्योंकि ये एक्सेलरेशन की जो डायरेक्शन है टू वर्ड्स राइट डायरेक्शन में होगी तो माइनस हो गया और वेलोसिटी स्टिल आपके लेफ्ट साइड में है तो ये पॉजिटिव है ये याद रखने वाली बात होगी इसमें थोड़ा ध्यान देना पड़ेगा नाउ आई मस्ट डू दैट मूव टू द एफबीडी फॉर द फोर्थ क्वार्टर व्हाट इज एफबीडी डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन आपका ये ना डायरेक्शन मोशन आपका इस तरफ है तो एफबीडी आपका ये हो गया सिमिलरली आपका ये डिलेपन प्रिंसिपल का फोर्स आई इज दिस स्टिल वर्किंग दिस इज स्टिल इन द राइट डायरेक्शन क्योंकि अभी आपका ऑब्जेक्ट जो है या सिस्टम जो है वो एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन एक्विलिब्रियम पोजीशन पे नहीं पहुंचा है तब तक डिलेपन प्रिंसिपल काम करेगा मैंने आपको एक चीज बताई हुई है कि स्प्रिंग फोर्स और डिलेपन फोर्स यानी कि एमएक्स डबल डॉट ये दोनों की दोनों इंडस्ट्रियल फोर्स ये तब तक काम करती रहेंगी जब तक ये सिस्टम को वापस अपनी मेन पोजीशन पे ना ला करके खड़ा कर दें तो ये एम एक्स ये वाली फोर्स और ये फोर्स दोनों ये काम इसी डायरेक्शन में करते रहेंगे सो वी हैव एनालाइज द फोर क्वार फोर क्वार ऑफ द ड्राई कोलम ड्राई फ्रिक्शन टैम्पिंग का जो केस है वो हमने एनालाइज किया नाउ लेट एस एनालाइज दिस दिस क्वार मैथमेटिकली For the first quadrant, compare it for the first quadrant. For the first quadrant, look at the FBD and look at the equation. This is an x double dot. In the all the three forces, this is the first quadrant. All the three forces are in the same direction. So since they are in the same direction, so they can be added. And equation number one becomes for the for the first quadrant. Similarly for the second quadrant we can have the summation like that. Similarly for the third quadrant we can have the summation like since we have drawn the three body diagram and we have shown the direction of the forces, so we can have the plus and minus from the four all the four quadrants we are able to generate or we have been successful in generating the four equation equation number one equation number two equation number three and equation number. Oh, now look at all these four equations very carefully. Our equation number two and three are similar. One and four. The equation for differential equation for quadrant number two and quadrant number three are similar. Yes, Similarly, the differential equation for quadrant number one and quadrant number four are also similar. Yes, so since they are similar. Since they are similar, so we are writing the differential equation for quadrant number one and two. M x double dot plus k x plus f r equal to zero. So we can also m को मैं नीचे लेके आ गया. X double dot k by m into x f r by m equal to zero. So this becomes equation number five. Moreover, यहाँ से equation number five में से मैंने k by m फिर से common था है. K मन लेने के बाद x double dot plus k by m अंदर मेरा बच गया x plus f r by k. जीरो ये मेरे पास इक्वेशन है जब इजाव नाउ स्टेप नंबर सेवन में मैंने क्या किया ये जो एक्स प्लस एफ आर बाई के था मेरा इसको मैंने वाई एज्यूम कर लिया वाई इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस एफ आर बाई के वेयर एफ आर इज योर फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स टू बी इस पर डिफ्रेंशिएट अपन करेंगे यहां से वाई का डिफ्रेंशिएशन करेंगे दैट मीन गो इन टू एक्स डबल डॉट बिकॉज एफ आर इज कॉन्स्टेंट And k is also constant. So y dot will be equal to x dot. Put this value in equation number five. X dot will be replaced by y dot. And uh, k by m आपका ऐसे कैसा रहेगा? और x plus x bar by k को मैं y से replace कर दिया. Clear हो गया भाई? चलो. So this becomes equation number six. Now this equation number six is a simple harmonic. सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन वाला इक्वेशन है सेपरेटिंग इक्वेशन सो ओमेगा इट विल बी इक्वल टू के बाय एम इन दिस केस एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी इक्वल टू 2 पाई 
into root of k by one upon two pi root of k by n. Now, if pi equal to zero in this equation, uh, in this equation, if pi equal to zero, x plus f r by k equal to zero. So f x equal to f r by k. So what is the significance of this f r by k? And we will also compare the equation number second and third in our next lecture. And we will also see what is the significance of this x equal to minus f r by k through a graph. With the help of a graph, we will understand how the vibrational wave die out in a dry friction damping, and what will be the decrement in each side. That we will be studying in our next lecture. Thank you very much.